I want you to know that what your chamber has done this morning is be very intentional. For me, it's gone back to, to part of the fall with, with beginning with emails and, and some phone calls. And I'm sure for them, it's gone back even further than that. But, but then we've had a couple of meetings where we've gotten together and we've met for well over an hour and sometimes two hours sitting down just discussing what is it we want to do with this morning in particular? Forget about from here on out, just this morning, what do we want to do for the chamber members? What kind of value can be offered to them to help them in the future? So it's just not a meeting. It's, it's a time where you can have a launching pad for, for the future. And if you ever look at a millennial, there's never a time they don't have a phone in their hand. <laughs> and it's, it's true. We laugh at it, but it's very important, too, because if you have something in your hand and you use it every single day, you need, as a business, to make sure that you're delivering your information to where they are and that you're making sure that if they're going to research where to travel, if they're going to research where to buy a home, if they're going to research which rides to go on or actually where to go, that you're delivering it to that phone because it's an extension of who they are. They represent 25% of the population. And by 2020, which is in two short years, they will account for one in three adults. So when you're looking around Ocean City and you're thinking who's coming to Ocean City and who will be coming to Ocean City, one in three adults is going to be the population of our tourism. And then their children will also be coming with them. So now that we have kind of an insight onto who the millennials are kind of by the numbers, let's kind of look at what interests them. And we're going to go back to some more quiz questions, because I like them. Blank percent of millennials say an over, have an overwhelming desire to travel is their main motivation to work each day. Does anyone have a guess? 15, 40, 70, or 95 percent? Well, it's not 95, but it is 70 percent of millennials saying overwhelming desire to travel is the main motivation to work every day. And this is very important for Ocean City, probably the most important statistic. They love to travel. The reality of it is embracing technology is a big piece around what really needs to be done because everybody's on their phones, everybody's utilizing technology, and while the millennials might be more ingrained with that, it's become much more of a part of business and much more what people really need to be able to, to look at and deal with. When we look at millennials and we look at kind of what consumers want in general, they're looking for convenience, they're looking for flexibility, and they're looking for very much immediacy. All those things really relate to the fact that more and more, because people are so connected all the time, people value their time that much more. When they have time, they want to be able to, to get something quickly, use something quickly. They want to be able to spend time that they do have off actually enjoying that time off. While admittedly, if anyone goes to the beach here in the summer or any time throughout the year, what do you see most people doing? They're typically on their phones. Uh, what they're doing on their phones is probably a lot in line to what we've talked about today, sharing photos taking pictures, doing all those things, but even sharing photos and doing those things are considered a period of relaxation for them. The ability to have the immediacy and all those things at their fingertips is really something that I think is the, the biggest aspect around kind of what consumers are looking for nowadays. So the key concept here, the more that you go beyond words, the greater the chance you will connect with people. So I leave you with these three questions to ask yourself today. You can, you can write these questions down and ask, you the, ask yourself these questions because they'll serve you well as you head into the big season coming up. What can I do to increase my value of others? What is the bridge I need to build to connect on common ground? And what do I need to improve to better connect with people? Ask yourself these questions. So this is my takeaway from today. First and foremost, there are 80 million millennials. 80 million. And someone said the other day, oh, there's so much talk about these millennials. And, and I thought, I don't, I don't know about that. Is there so much talk about these millennials? Or is there so much talk because there are so many millennials? And I think it's more the latter on that. There are so many. We are not disregarding any other generation. They are critical. They're important to our business. But the millennials are big. They're a huge group, 80 million. They are the largest American population. They represent 25% of us. By the year 2020, 50% of our workforce, of all your employees, 50% will be comprised of millennials. 
That is significant. And I thought, wow, in 2020, hey, guess what? We're in 2018. We're finishing the first quarter of 2018. We are less than two years away. It is upon us, and we need to act on it.